Have you ever felt like a leaf adrift on the river of life, swept away by the invisible waves of anxiety, fear and uncertainty? How many times have you wished you could stand firm amidst these storms, only to find yourself wavering before uncontrollable changes? Life sometimes seems to endlessly test us, shaking even the beliefs we hold most dear. But is there a way to face everything without letting it disturb the peace within our souls? Stoic philosophy, particularly through the teachings of Epictetus, offers us a hopeful answer. In this increasingly complex and stressful world, Stoic principles are not just dry philosophical lessons. They are a guiding compass, helping us regain serenity no matter the circumstances. Epictetus, a former slave who became one of the greatest philosophers, left humanity priceless wisdom in the treasure trove of knowledge. He believed that it is not the circumstances but how we respond to them that determines our destiny. In this video, we will explore the 10 golden principles that Epictetus passed down. Principles that will help you stand as firm as a rock in the sea of life so that nothing can shake you. Get ready to embark on a journey where you will find inner strength, discover how to master your emotions and become the architect of your own life. These are not merely teachings from thousands of years ago, but the key to living a resilient life, unbowed by any hardship. Number one, recognize what you can control. In life, we are often caught up in things beyond our control, events that occur, how others treat us, or even the thoughts and feelings of others. However, Epictetus, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, taught us that the key to inner peace lies in clearly distinguishing between what we can control and what we cannot. He believed that if we focus on what is within our grasp, we can avoid feelings of helplessness and despair when faced with difficulties. Consider this. Do we often worry about things that cannot be changed? We worry about the future, fear what hasn't happened yet, or regret the past. But what good does it do to expend all our energy on things that cannot be changed? Instead, direct your attention to what you can control, your thoughts, your actions, and how you respond to situations. Jesus also taught us about the importance of letting go of unnecessary worries. In the Sermon on the Mount, he said, Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This statement deeply reflects Stoic philosophy, focus on the present and on what we can do in this moment. A practical example is when facing a difficult situation at work, such as a failed project or criticism from a colleague. Instead of getting caught up in negative emotions, you can choose to focus on what you can do next, improving your skills, learning from the experience, or simply accepting the situation and maintaining a calm mind. When you concentrate on what you can control, you will feel freer, you will no longer be distracted by external factors. Instead, you will build a strong inner strength. Epictetus himself once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Remember, strength does not lie in trying to change the world, but in changing yourself. And that is something you can control. Number two, embrace reality with a calm mind. Have you ever faced a situation where everything seemed beyond your control? The feelings of helplessness, anxiety and fear overwhelm your mind, making it impossible to find peace. But what if I told you that the key to overcoming those moments lies in accepting reality with a calm mind? Would you be willing to listen? In Stoic philosophy, accepting reality is not an act of surrendering to fate, but a demonstration of inner strength. Epictetus, one of the most renowned Stoic philosophers, asserted that it is how we respond to reality that determines the peace of our soul. Look at the life of Jesus Christ, who faced unimaginable trials with a calm mind and absolute acceptance. 
Even when betrayed, tortured and ultimately crucified, Jesus maintained his faith and inner peace. He accepted reality with compassion and forgiveness, becoming a symbol of love and patience in the face of suffering. Similarly, we can learn from him and Epictetus that accepting reality with a calm mind not only helps us find peace in difficult times, but also fosters resilience and strength from within. In modern life, we often encounter challenges such as job loss, relationship breakdowns, or unexpected crises. Instead of letting these circumstances shake our minds, try asking yourself, can I change this? If the answer is no, then accept it and refocus your energy on what you can control. For example, when you face a failure at work, instead of drowning in feelings of inadequacy and worry, calmly assess the situation, accept that it has happened, and redirect your energy towards improving and learning from the experience. In this way, you not only maintain your composure, but also move forward with greater confidence and determination. Ultimately, accepting reality with a calm mind is not a passive act, but a powerful and courageous one. It is how we gain true control over our lives and find peace even in the greatest storms. Remember, no one can take away your peace unless you allow it. Next, let's move on to the third key on our journey to discovering and unlocking the best of our potential. But before we dive in, I have a question for you. Have you ever felt caught in a whirlwind of worries about outcomes to the point where you lose sight of the value of what you're doing? In those moments, you might find comfort in an important principle of Stoic philosophy. Focus on the action, not the outcome. Number three, focus on actions, not outcomes. Think about a farmer who tends to his garden every day with love and patience. He can do his best, watering, fertilizing, and caring for each young plant, but he cannot control the weather or other natural factors. Whether the harvest is abundant or poor is beyond his control, but does that mean his efforts are in vain? Not at all, because what he can do is live fully in each action he takes, and that is the real value. Be dedicated to the action and let the result come naturally. This is the valuable advice that Stoicism offers us. Jesus also taught us something similar in the Bible. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. When we focus on what is good and on righteous actions, the outcome no longer needs to be a source of worry. When we have done our best, the rest is left to God. Looking at modern life, consider a swimmer preparing for a major competition. No matter how much he desires victory, he cannot completely control the outcome. The only thing he can do is focus on each stroke, each breath, and put his whole heart into the race. And it is this focus on action that is the key to his success. So what about you? Are you putting too much pressure on the outcome to the point of forgetting the value of what you are doing? Can you let go of the worry about things beyond your control and fully embrace each moment? Let Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus remind you that as long as we live true to our actions, the results, whatever they may be, will become a meaningful part of our journey. Number four, maintain inner peace in the face of others' words. Have you ever felt your soul unsettled by the words of others, criticism, insincere praise, or even baseless rumors? In moments like these, Stoic philosophy reminds us of an important principle. Maintain inner peace in the face of others' words. Imagine a rock in the middle of a stream. No matter how gently the water caresses it or how fiercely the waves crash against it, the rock remains steadfast, unmoved. Our souls should be like that, firm and unshaken by the words from outside. While we cannot control what others say, we have complete control over how we receive and respond to those words. Jesus also taught, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. 
This teaching is not only a call for compassion, but also a way to maintain inner peace. When we learn not to take negative words to heart, not to retaliate, or be drawn into the spiral of resentment, we preserve the tranquility within us. In everyday life, we often encounter situations where the words of others can hurt us. A colleague might casually criticize us, a friend might misunderstand us, or even a stranger might say something that irritates us. In those moments, it's important to remember that our worth is not determined by others' words. How do you apply the principles of Stoic philosophy in your daily life? Do you allow others' words to control your soul? Are you willing to let go of negative thoughts and hold on to your inner peace? Share your stories and insights in the comments. Number five, don't let emotions govern your thoughts. Have you ever let your emotions drive you to make decisions you later regretted? In moments of anger, anxiety or fear, we often lose control, allowing emotions to dictate our thoughts and actions. This is when Stoic philosophy reminds us of an important principle. Don't let emotions control your thinking. This doesn't mean denying our emotions, but rather learning how to master them so that we can think and act wisely. Consider Oprah Winfrey, one of the most powerful media figures in the world. Oprah's life was far from easy. She endured a childhood filled with hardship, including poverty and abuse. With such wounds and negative emotions, it's easy to imagine how she might have allowed them to dominate her life. However, instead of letting these emotions dictate her thoughts and actions, Oprah chose to confront them, master her feelings, and transform her painful experiences into a source of strength. Oprah once said, turn your wounds into wisdom. Rather than being weighed down by her emotions, she learned to control them, focusing on self-development and building an extraordinarily successful media career. She became a symbol of overcoming adversity and has inspired millions worldwide by demonstrating that emotional control is key to unlocking a happy and successful life. Jesus also taught us about mastering emotions. In Matthew 5.39, he said, If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. This teaching encourages us to restrain the natural reaction of anger and instead respond with tolerance and calmness. So do you allow emotions to dictate your thoughts and actions? Can you learn to pause, take a deep breath and think before acting? Let Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus help you find a balance between emotion and reason. By doing so, you will live a life not swayed by the waves of emotion, but guided by calmness and wisdom, making sound and right decisions in every situation. We want to extend our thanks and congratulations to you for making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are fully ready for this journey. Now let's turn our attention to the remaining five principles that will help you continue your path towards self-improvement. Number six, learn to let go of unnecessary things. Have you ever felt weighed down by unnecessary things in life? Worries, relationships that no longer serve a purpose, or even possessions that you haven't used in a long time? Stoic philosophy teaches us an important principle. Learn to let go of what is unnecessary. This is not just about clearing physical space, but also about freeing your mind and soul from invisible burdens. Epictetus, one of the most distinguished Stoic philosophers, reminded us that true freedom doesn't come from owning more, but from the ability to let go of what no longer adds value to our lives. When we cling to what is unnecessary, we not only fill our lives with meaningless things, but also limit our capacity to experience new and meaningful opportunities. Take a look at the life of Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple. Jobs was known for his minimalist lifestyle. From the way he dressed to how he managed his work, he believed that eliminating the unnecessary would clear the mind and allow focus on what matters most. 
This approach not only helped him create revolutionary products, but also allowed him to live a life full of purpose. In our daily lives, we can see that holding on to too many things not only hinders personal growth, but also creates unnecessary stress and fatigue. Someone might hold on to a job they no longer have passion for simply out of fear of change. Another person might keep items they no longer use, thinking they might need them someday. But the truth is, the more we hold on to what is unnecessary, the more we lose our freedom to enjoy what truly matters. Let Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus guide you on a journey toward a simple yet meaningful life where only the things that truly matter are kept in your heart. So, are you ready to let go of the unnecessary things in your life? Can you find freedom and peace by learning to release yourself from meaningless attachments? Number seven, practice steadfastness and patience. Consistency and patience are core virtues that a Stoic philosopher needs to practice to achieve inner peace and face all challenges in life. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, reminded us that consistency in thought, not allowing external circumstances to shake us, is the foundation for maintaining patience and overcoming obstacles. Consistency is not just about enduring adversity, but also about maintaining core beliefs and values in mind. In modern life, we are often caught up in the whirlwind of work, relationships and material desires. How can we keep our minds steady amidst these temptations and challenges? It is consistency that helps us stay on course, like a guiding light through the darkness, showing us what we need to do and what we should ignore. Patience, on the other hand, is the ability to accept time as part of the development process. We can learn from the example of Jesus Christ, who patiently endured all suffering and challenges without losing faith in his mission. Patience is not passive. It is an active process of waiting for good things to come through careful preparation and trust in a larger plan. A modern example is the journey of marathon runners. They cannot reach the finish line immediately, but must take it step by step, patiently overcoming each stage, no matter how tired or painful it is. This is similar to how we must be patient and consistent in life, gradually overcoming difficulties to achieve our ultimate goals. So, are you ready to practice consistency and patience in your life? Can you maintain your faith like Jesus Christ and face challenges with a steadfast mind like Epictetus? Remember, success does not come from impatience, but from perseverance and the ability to wait for good things. With patience, we have just explored the power of consistency and patience, key elements that drive success and personal growth. Now, we would like to introduce you to another powerful tool for creating inner balance and peace, living in harmony with nature. We are part of the natural whole. Let us live in harmony with its operations. Let us continue to explore the magical power of living in harmony with nature in the next part of the video. Number eight, live in harmony with nature and natural law. Nature and natural laws are not only confined to the physical world around us, the mountains, rivers, or lush forests, but also encompass the continuous flow of time, the changing of the seasons, and the immutable laws of life, such as birth and death. When we resist these laws, we only bring suffering upon ourselves. However, if we learn to accept and harmonize with them, we will find freedom in our souls. Ask yourself, why do we worry about things beyond our control? When we try to control the unchangeable, such as death, aging, or loss, we inadvertently place ourselves in a cycle of dissatisfaction and suffering. For example, consider the life cycle of a tree. It grows from a tiny seed, blooms, and then sheds its leaves, closing its life cycle with tranquility. Trees do not complain about time and do not resist storms or death. They simply live and accept their fate. Similarly, we should live like trees, fully embracing each moment and accepting the natural laws of life. 
Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus Christ both encourage us to find peace in accepting and harmonizing with nature, as this is the path to true freedom. Ultimately, ask yourself, are you living in harmony with nature? Are you ready to accept change and the immutable laws of life without resistance? If you are ready, leave a comment saying, living in harmony with nature, to show your commitment to change. Let's discuss how we can apply Stoic philosophy to build a more beautiful life. Number nine, remember that everything is temporary. Recognizing that everything is temporary is not a pessimistic thought. On the contrary, it encourages us to live fully in each moment without being bound by unnecessary ambitions or worries. When we remember that all joy, sorrow, and even our own lives are fleeting, we will find peace within ourselves, overcoming fears and anxieties. Consider the small pleasures in daily life, a quiet morning, a delicious meal, or moments with loved ones. These moments may be fleeting, but understanding their transience makes us cherish them more. Have you ever felt regret when something good ends? That is a sign of attachment to the temporary. However, if we learn to let go and accept the ephemeral nature of life, we will experience true freedom. Jesus also taught, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. This saying deeply reflects the Stoic principle of impermanence, reminding us not to cling too tightly to material possessions or status, as all such things are fleeting. In modern life, we can easily forget the transience of everything, especially when facing pressures from work, family, and personal desires. But remembering that everything is temporary can help us escape the cycle of stress and find peace within ourselves. How can you apply this principle to your daily life? Can you let go of anxieties about the future and live fully in the present? Finally, remember that just like everything in life, both difficulties and joys will pass. This awareness will help us live a more meaningful life with less worry and a heart full of gratitude. Number 10. See everything from a broader perspective. In life, we often get caught up in minor details, stressful situations or fleeting emotions which can cause us to lose balance and forget that every event is just a part of a larger picture. Petty arguments, unintended hurtful remarks or even failures in work or relationships can easily make us lose sight of the broader view of life. However, if we can step back, move away from the whirlwind of daily problems and view things from a broader perspective, we will see the temporary and insignificant nature of many aspects of life. Current difficulties, even though they may seem like major obstacles, will eventually pass. Fleeting joys while bringing happiness for a moment will not last forever. Reflect on a specific issue you're facing right now. Does it truly matter when you look at the overall picture of your life? Will it still haunt you a month, a year or ten years from now? If you pause and ask yourself these questions, you might realize that many of your current worries are merely minor issues that, over time, will become insignificant. This is the power of viewing life from a broader perspective, a perspective that helps us escape the constraints of fleeting emotions and focus on what is truly important. Consider a practical example. When facing failure in work or a relationship, instead of dwelling on negative feelings, you can choose to see it as an opportunity to learn and grow. We cannot control everything that happens to us, but we can control how we react. Stoic philosophy often teaches that life is a long journey and every event is just a small step along the way. Each step, whether difficult or painful, provides us with an opportunity to progress further and become stronger. So, have you ever tried to view your life from a broader perspective? When you do, you will realize that the things causing you distress today are merely small ripples in the vast ocean of life. 
temporary storms will not sink your boat if you know how to steer and stay true to your course. What matters is not avoiding the storms, but how you navigate through them, maintaining calm and continuing to move forward. It is this perseverance that will lead you to the shore of peace, where today's difficulties will be a distant memory, replaced by tranquility and growth. As we reach the end of our journey, exploring the ten Stoic principles according to Epictetus, we hope you have found within them the seeds of inner peace and strength. These principles are not just distant philosophical lessons, but valuable guides to help you face life's challenges without being overwhelmed. Life is always full of storms and challenges, but the important thing is not to avoid them, but to face and overcome them. Stoic philosophy teaches us that happiness and peace do not come from controlling everything around us, but from controlling ourselves. Remember that nothing can truly affect you if you do not allow it to. Epictetus left us principles not only to cope with life, but to live with resilience, mindfulness and tranquility. What you learn from Stoic philosophy can become a solid foundation on your journey, helping you navigate challenges without losing your inner peace. So, integrate these principles into your daily life so that, no matter what happens, you can remain steadfast like a rock amid life's turbulent sea, unaffected by the storms. If you enjoyed this video, please comment 1 to let us know. If not, comment 0 so we can promptly improve the content to make it better and of higher quality. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos on Stoic Living and Personal Development.